Beautiful Aquarius, this is Tammy with Spot On Psychic Readings and Sparky and Chippy join me today. <laughs> so I just wanted to come in and give you guys a reading looking into the whole month of May. Uh, we wanted to see what was coming in because it seems really exciting. And I think you're gonna like the reading. I'm feeling some really good energy. So I'm gonna switch over and give you a bird's eye view here in a second. And I'm not switching to this format um, permanently. I, but I do it every so often because pe some people do really like seeing uh, the cards the way I'm seeing them. Okay, so hope you enjoy your reading. I'll see you. Hey Aquarius, let's dive into your reading for the month of May. We're going to see what's coming. Um, I'm going to shuffle a little bit. Some people had questioned last time why there were so many reversals coming up. You know, cards can be read upright or reversed and they have various meanings you know because of that um when i shuffle just so you know <laughs> i turn half the deck each and every time that i shuffle okay so some of the cards get reversed as i shuffle and i use my intuition to decide when enough shuffles have happened and sometimes i do this off camera but I did want to explain this. The reason so many reversals came up in the last readings is because um, the energy, the eclipse energy really was upside down. <laughs> okay, so what happened was the cards were reflecting that upside down wonky eclipse energy the last time I read for you. So I'm curious to see what happens today. I don't straighten the cards out ever. I know a lot of people do. This is how I read. <laughs> okay. So let's see what comes up. I like to just space these out evenly. Really got, glad that you guys are here today and I can't wait to see what's coming in the whole, we're just gonna take a look at the whole month of May for you today, Aquarius, okay? And again, I, I do this by feel, you know, when I pull the cards, I can, you know, feel energy coming off the cards and it gives me additional meaning. And yes, I do read reversals. So here we go, Aquarius, make sure you can see those. Okay, Let's see what's coming up. Sure, this is all clear. Okay. Yep. <laughs> all right. There was quite a bit of energy that I felt on that first card. Looking at the month of May for Aquarius. Month of May for Aquarius. Oh, strong energy there. Wow, look at this, Aquarius. First of all, this had these two cards had the strongest energy. Okay, this is um, your final outcome. I'll flip the rest of them, but and this is the Knight of Swords saying something is kind of, something's going to really change quickly, Aquarius. Really significant. So let's see what else is coming. And yes, I always flip the cards when I turn them. It's just how I read. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. This one followed that one. So, all right, this is interesting, Aquarius. Look at this. Um, if you can see all of these. Yeah, you can. Um, so, wow, it's really, really interesting. Some things have really changed. I see a lot of transition here. And when I look at what's coming up in the month of May, which is what we're looking the most at today, it is so positive. Look at this. This is in your immediate future starting in the month of May. Um, Eight of Wands. And again, things are going to move quickly. Look at this, Aquarius. <laughs> this is so cool. Some of you, let me just backtrack a little bit. Some of you may have had um, some kind of situation come rushing in that caused some trouble 
and then left again, okay? Could have been a situation where you felt uh, something was unfair. You know, you may have felt stabbed in the back in some way, but because it's reversed, it is showing me that it's not as severe as it was, okay? So coming up in the month of May. Now, some of you might be feeling like you're in a little state of limbo in the month of May, like you wanna get going, you wanna go with this really fast Knight of Swords energy. And I just get like, you might feel like you're um, stuck a little bit. This is your challenge card at this time. So you might just be feeling a little stuck, like you can't move forward, you can't move back, but I definitely see things moving forward. So wait till I get to the rest of this because it's really good, <laughs> okay? Now, what's um, in your energy really strongly at this time, Aquarius, is Queen of Cups. This could be you, or this could be your partner, or this could be um, a mother, you know? And this is somebody who's in your mind, kind of um, in your aura, really strongly at this time that you're thinking about, okay? And underneath that, the foundation has been this Ten of Swords. So I'm just feeling like either this person is being really supportive, this person may be your rock, or if this is you, Aquarius, this could be you feeling like, you know, you put your heart and soul into something and then you got stabbed in the back, okay? So take it as it resonates because it'll be a little bit different for everybody and I will go through and clarify. Okay, when we get a little further into this reading. So when I go over here and look at this, um, look at this, you are going into a more peaceful time frame coming up, Aquarius. Oops. Sorry, trying to adjust my fan. Um, this is something where you've been through a trouble spot for sure. Look at this, Ten of Swords and Six of Swords side by side. I feel like you have relocated. I feel like you've walked away from something where you were stabbed in the back, you've left. Um, some of you may have relocated to a new city, as you can see on the horizon. Some of you may have moved to a different job, okay? Something about going to someplace new where there feels like there's less trouble, okay? Feels like for a lot of you, that may have already happened. That could have already happened like um, this month because of this Ten of Swords that happened. Again, I, I get such a warm vibe from Queen of Cups. So either this is you or this is somebody, again, who is being very supportive um, in this situation. And you may have felt, again, somebody felt stabbed in the back. Some, some of you Aquarians felt really stabbed in the back. But this is a very nurturing figure who I feel like is being very supportive or, again, it represents you. These can be water signs when I see the cups. So it could be, you know, Pisces, Cancer, um, Scorpio energy, kind of over you, somebody watching out for you. This could even be somebody from spirit, like a grandmother um, who's watching over you. You can see how she's kind of looking down <laughs> over this situation. Like, I just, I get such goosebumps on that. Yeah, I totally am feeling that this could be a grandmother in spirit or mother in spirit for some of you looking down, sending you love because you have been through the situation, Aquarius. Wow, so sweet. That's amazing. Look at these peace lilies in this card. She's sending you peace as well. Wow. I have a whole story about peace lilies, but I'll save it for another time. <laughs> it involves the Pisces too. Interesting. Okay. So let's go into your future, um, Aquarius. This is looking into your media future, which is so exciting. I am so happy to give you all this reading because this is really awesome. So Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands has all, all things to do with success. This is all about success and bluebirds of happiness. Look at those. This is about a flow of energy with this river and it's about speed and things flying in, things f swooping in really, really fast, okay? We've got some fast moving cards here. You are definitely getting out of the state of limbo that is causing you a challenge at this time. And this is what's coming up in your month of May. Lots of success, things moving forward. You might be traveling, you might be um, meeting someone suddenly, things might happen suddenly, um, sudden success you know, things like that, things moving forward because you have moved away 
from something, either a job or a city or a home or a turbulent um, relationship. You know, it's going to depend. It's a collective reading, so it'll depend, you know, on your individual situations. But because you've walked away from it, that's in your past. This is in your future. You're bringing in a lot of success here, Aquarius. Now, in your more extended future, we've got the reversed Seven of Wands. And the Seven of Wands is all about, um, like, competition and also keeping things together and perseverance. And it's like, if something doesn't work, you're just going to keep pushing ahead, okay? Now, because it's reversed, some of you might feel like you don't have the advantage or you're not winning or something like that. But what this card says is, actually you are okay so don't forget that as the month wears on this is a more in your extended future seven of wands and for some of you it is reversed so it's going to be feeling like maybe you're overwhelmed or you just can't you know things keep breaking or uh, you're just kind of frustrated in some way but just know you do have the advantage and this is the card of perseverance okay winning and perseverance so hang in there Aquarius okay oh right beside it's the card of competition too this is all in your energy this is how other people are seeing you and this is having to do with competition now it is reversed so some people are seeing like um, you might be having to work extra hard to win this whatever this competition is maybe you're trying to um, work with this new energy that you walked away from you're trying to still battle your way through some of you with this okay this can be arguments battles that sort of thing but because things are happening suddenly I feel like also in your energy um, Aquarius and what other people are seeing is you're still sort of fighting to get ahead you know when I look at all three of these cards together I'm feeling like things are coming in so fast you're feeling overwhelmed and like you're still fighting against whatever this is at this time. So there's somebody perceiving you in that way. That's not necessarily your energy, um, but it is how some people are seeing you at this time is you're still fighting your way through um, like the remnants of a situation. Okay. And again, I'll do some clarification and we'll, we'll get more on this. So, um, this is really good. This is your hopes and fears card. It is reversed. It's really good when it's reversed. And nine of swords is the anxiety and sleepless nights card. That is alleviating. When it's reversed, it means it's, it, it's alleviating. So you might be worried about nightmares and things like that. The anxiety you've had over this situation, especially this, this would bring anybody a lot of anxiety. Okay. So that is, um, that's alleviating and I feel like you're hoping it will you're hoping your anxiety is going to go away and I'm here to tell you it is okay because this is this is like a super good reading now your final outcome is that you are growing your money look at this she's growing money in a garden okay this is the card of literally like nurturing money okay making it grow um, watching it sprout you know it's like you're you're um, investing or you're investing your time if you're not investing money you're investing your time and it's in some sort of new new successful venture and your money is growing Aquarius this is so good so let's get some clarification here about this okay um, let's see let's see what's coming up let's ask about this reverse Knight of Swords which is the most significant thing for the month of May something came rushing in at you there's a lot of rushing in okay so what do we need to know about knight of swords you're going to be the king of pentacles look at that so this is what's rushing in so whatever this turbulent situation was that you got away from that came rushing in caused a big thing to happen and then rushed out again it's bringing you financial stability look at this Aquarius this is so good it's also having to do with making decisions the lovers card making some sort of decisions which brings you more financial stability so whatever this so-called bad situation was that came in and left again you know sort of caught you maybe even by surprise some of you um, it's it's bringing you some really good stuff here 
let's ask why are you in this situation of being in suspension at this time? Why are you feeling like the hanged man at this time? Look at that. There you are, Aquarius. This is the card of um, that symbolizes Aquarius for one thing. So that's really, really a good, good sign. And this is having to do with a lot of success and the stars shining down on you. This could be you being in the limelight, coming in the limelight, and you may be waiting for it. Let's see what else. Yeah, the Hierophant. Hmm. Okay, so one thing that might be keeping you in suspension is a commitment to something. You made some sort of a commitment, um, maybe a start date or something like that. If you're going into a new job, there's some little spy over here is curious about you, Aquarius. And here's the high priestess. <laughs> so the thing I feel like is, that's keeping you in suspension at this time is some sort of a commitment. And maybe you're in um, some of you a commitment to, you know, a previous job or whatever caused you this Ten of Swords energy. Maybe some of you have a commitment to family or a mother, okay? And some of you might have a commitment to a lease or, you know, having to sell a house or something like that, you know, rental property or something like that. This is about you um, using your intuition. And I saw this last time, you're going to be highly intuitive in the month of May. And you might have some sort of a commitment to marriage that you're feeling um, like it's um, this moving forward is connected in some way to this commitment and also maybe a marriage and also maybe your beliefs about something, okay? Um, again, you're very intuitive and you're very successful at this time with the star card, Aquarius. Let me pull a couple more on this and see. I mean, I can guess why you're feeling in a state of suspension with these sudden changes coming in but I do think you're staying the course. I think for some of you, you've just made a commitment to something and you're feeling a little um, like you can't move forward, can't go back yet, yet, because I do see you going forward, okay? Yeah, and there's Seven of Wands again. What was Seven of Wands? Here it is. So Seven of Wands came up over here too, but it's also clarifying your Hanged, your hanged Man card. So, Yeah, this is, and see, it came up upright this time. So this is saying, never fear, you do have the advantage. Even if you feel like you don't have the advantage and you're feeling stuck, you do, and you will be successful. This is about you being committed, okay? This is commitment. This is dedication for you. It can also be marriage for some of you, and again, it can be spiritual beliefs and things like that. But um, still, really, really good card. Let's ask, who's the Queen of Cups? Aquarius, who's the Queen of Cups for you? Who's the Queen of Cups that's in Aquarius Aura at this time? Huh, Knight of Cups and a Tower and seven of cups okay because there's something here about um this queen of cups for some, this is not for everybody okay but for some of you queen of cups was not trustworthy i mean she did come up upright but i feel like not trustworthy maybe there was a tower that happened around queen of cups if that was you or your person okay cause, you know, Ten of Swords, Tower, you know, very similar cards. And now I feel like you're getting more clarity from that. And I still feel like this is somebody in spirit who's bringing you more clarity about a situation that was um, untrustworthy. This Knight of Cups reversed is somebody not dependable. But I don't think it's her. But I think it was whatever, whoever... Uh, made you an offer that was too good to be true and caused a tower in this Ten of Swords. I still feel like this Queen of Swords is watching out for a lot of you. Let me ask. They're telling me the situation, but let's see. 
who is queen of cups <laughs> look at this queen and king of cups so for some of you this could be a king of cups watching out for you and there was a five of swords there so five of swords is you know an energy a kind of nasty mean energy and four of swords four and five of swords um for some of you this could have caused some sort of illness or sickness or um whatever this the stress of this situation i feel like some of you got sick some of you may have dealt with hospitalization you or a loved one this can have to do with um, some some energy that is so stressful and so negative you know to have caused a tower and a ten of swords and all the stuff i'm seeing so again i'm feeling like whoever these so these cups people are is either representing you just not Usually the cups don't, don't uh, represent Aquarius, but in this case they could because it is showing up in your aura, what's hanging over you. But I more feel like these are your spirit guides or deceased loved ones who are looking down on you and helping you get through this situation. And they could be a couple. You know, this could be parents or grandparents, a king and queen of cups. They're divine counterparts to each other, soulmates. Wow. I love that. <laughs> I love that Aquarius. Okay, let's see. What are you getting away from? <clears throat> what are you escaping from in the month of May? There's you again. There's your Aquarius energy. There he is again. And yeah, slow, steady progress. So you're escaping because you're in your really strong Aquarius energy, the star, okay? Um, the stars are lining up for you is part of why you're escaping. And I don't know who this is, we're gonna ask. And you are moving uh, step by step. This is dependability, this Knight of Pentacles, slow moving energy, you might be moving out of the situation slowly, which is another reason you might be feeling kind of in a state of suspension at this time. Um, let's ask who is this page of swords that keeps showing up could be somebody younger you know he's kind of an annoyance <laughs> quite honestly when I see page of swords I kind of roll my eyes because he's not really a bad person he's just sort of you know annoying uh, yeah he's not wishing you good things a reverse magician there and the reverse king of cups this could be um, a father and son for some of you this could be representing a father and son this could also be representing somebody who has addictions of some sort uh, somebody who does spell work for some of you um, just depends just depends but it's more of an annoyance this is not a horrible energy but it's definitely an annoyance okay let's look into your good stuff here in your immediate future in may the best card okay eight of wands let's ask um what that's about let's get some more details on that for you aquarius okay we have got the sun wow look at that it's really really good that's like the best card in the deck so this happiness and success is coming in um again with planetary alignment is some of what this means and also this just means happiness this can be marriage vacations uh, family just really happy stuff's going to come rushing in with this and we've got six of wands which is a victory card a little bit of five of swords somebody's kind of mad at you aquarius um somebody that you parted ways with this could go to a job or a relationship somebody's angry that you're leaving okay and you've got all this good stuff coming in so take that in this is definitely the victory card the happiness card success rushing in and a little bit of somebody being mad you left or broke a contract or something like that with this two of cups okay so let's go over to seven of wands what is up with seven of wands seven of wands is the perseverance card and you may just be feeling like um, in the month of may even though it's going well overall you still might be feeling like 
there's competition um, and there's something about just feeling like everything's an uphill climb, you know. It's coming up. Um, we've got King of Wands. Okay. Huh. Wonder who he is. They just threw us a curveball there in the moon. There could be somebody being a little dishonest, Aquarius. Watch out for a King of Wands. That sometimes go to, goes to somebody who's a fire sign. Sagittarius, Leo, um, Aries, okay, traditionally, and the moon card, which can be a Pisces energy, but usually represents deception and things like that. Sort of watch out for something. Having to, you know, if some if you're feeling like you're having to work too hard, or maybe somebody's not telling you the truth about something. Hmm. And you're being very dedicated. You know, again, here's this card of commitment and dedication and your beliefs. And also your beliefs in a higher power. Look, there it is again. There's the Six of Swords. But this is you getting out of whatever the situation is that's been bad. So I think some of this goes to you still trying to get away from um, a place you were living that was unhappy or a relationship of some sort, even a business relationship you know, job, something like that, you're getting away from it. And I think that's what's causing this competition and feeling like you just can't win, <laughs> even though you are winning. You know, we saw the winning cards coming up there. Okay, why are people seeing you as reversed five of wands, Aquarius? Why is that? Who's probably that little page of swords is seeing you like that, but let's look and see. Somebody's seeing you like you're not getting what you want. You're not getting your wish. Page of Wands. Yeah, somebody younger. Somebody younger. And a Two of Pentacles. Somebody's seeing you like you're juggling money. You're not getting what you want. Maybe you feel like you're not getting enough money. Or they think you're not getting enough money. Yeah, there's the Hermit card. So Aquarius, this is use shining a light on toxic energy and I would say this toxic energy goes to um, that page of swords that came up earlier okay and could you know could be a little bit of this page of wands mixed in too and also the two of pentacles I feel like you are seeing the light see it's like he's shining a light onto all of this it's like so somebody might be seeing you like that, but they would be wrong because I feel like whoever is trying to cast this onto you is really this little toxic snake down here with a rattle, <laughs> okay? So I hope that made sense because this is the card of how other people perceive you. But I feel like somebody's trying to put that on you, Aquarius. There's somebody mad at you because you broke a contract or a relationship or something like that with them even a you know a job you walked away from a job or something like that and I feel like they're trying to say oh Aquarius is never gonna make it <laughs> right they're trying to like put that on you it's not yours this is yours I just want to make this clear this is yours Aquarius this success card this fast-moving success we know about the anxiety ending let's ask about you growing your money <laughs> in spite of whoever that is right okay let's ask about growing the money nurturing money investing watching it grow watching it grow Ooh, this one jumped out got a whole new path there look at that brand new path that's bringing you in money four of cups yeah you're like what do I want to put in this fourth cup <laughs> okay and Seven of Cups, you're getting more clarity on what you want. I see you visualizing, you know, visualizing a lot of what you want in these cups. You know, Cups has to do with um, anything from love and emotions to what your heart desires and um, what fills you up. Look at this. There's the Sun card again. So when I look at how you're growing your money, your final outcome for the month of May, you're going to be super happy, Aquarius. Super, super happy in the month of May. 
Now there's some up and down, just a little bit of a roller coaster ride in here. And not everyone is wishing you well on this, but you are getting it. The universe is wishing you well. And that's what this is saying. There's a lot of happiness here with relationships and jobs and money and locations and the stars lining up and everything else. This is a very warm and happy card for you, especially when I ask about you growing money. Clarify that. Look at this. It's going to make you really happy, Aquarius. So I'm going to leave it there today. Thank you all so much for coming in. I really appreciate all of your likes and your subscriptions. And I hope to see you guys again soon. Okay, have a good one. Bye-bye.